Hi, I'm Anita Shepard from Anita's Yogurt, and I'm guest hosting Gina's Recipes today while Kristen is away on sabbatical. And today I'm gonna show you a delightful smoothie that is as beautiful as it is delicious. And I love this recipe because the ingredients are very pared down. It's yogurt, strawberries, and rose water, but the flavors are very springy and fresh and is such a beautiful finished product that looks like it's complicated, but it actually doesn't have that many ingredients. This isn't just any smoothie, this is a layered smoothie. So we're gonna start with one of the layers, which is the chia layer, and we're gonna start by adding a cup of yogurt and a cup of coconut water, the agave, rose water, and the chia seeds. And then you just whisk it together. This recipe came to be from the Cherry Bomb Jubilee a few years ago. I got paired up with Diana Yen of A La Carte Studio. And Diana wanted to create a recipe with my yogurt that really was like a showstopper, something that everyone would wanna take pictures of. And it worked because it became the most Instagrammed item from the event that year. Now that this is all whisked together, we're gonna stick it in the fridge to chill for at least one hour. While our chia layer is in the fridge chilling, we're gonna make our next layer, which is a very simple strawberry puree. You're just gonna add the strawberries right to your blender. Our strawberries are pureed. It's a beautiful bright color and has such a fresh springy smell and we're just gonna transfer it to a cup. Now we're gonna make the last layer, which to me is the yummiest layer because in this three layered smoothie, there are two layers that share yogurt as an ingredient and there are two layers that share strawberries as an ingredient. And this is the layer where the strawberries and the yogurt get to come together and it's just so good. For the strawberry smoothie layer, we're gonna start with a cup of yogurt. You don't have to wash the blender in between. You can make this with um, the residue from the strawberry layer in there. So we're gonna start with a cup of yogurt. And to that, we're gonna add a cup of frozen strawberries. And a quarter cup of ice. Now we just blend it together until smooth. Our strawberry smoothie is ready, and now we're going to layer everything together. But before we do that, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more genius recipes like this one. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna layer all three of these together in the glass, and it's going to look so beautiful. And the first step we're gonna do before we add any of the liquids is we're gonna decorate the glass with these beautiful strawberry hearts that Diana told me how to make. You just cut a V in the top of a strawberry and then when you slice it, it comes out in these beautiful heart shapes. And then we're just gonna dip them in a little bit of agave and press them to the side of the glass. And you wanna kind of press them a little bit hard so they kind of suction to the side of the glass. And that's gonna be a little decorative element I like to do three slices around the side. You can do more if you want. You can also cut the strawberry into different shapes if you'd like. So the first layer we're gonna put in the glass is the strawberry puree. So we'll start with the strawberry puree and I'll put two or three spoonfuls in the bottom. And the other layers are gonna kind of push down on it so I would add less than you think you need because it'll kind of get smushed up around the sides. That's enough. And the next layer will be the chia layer. And 
just to get this looking really nice, I like to use a spoon to add each layer so I can really control how it looks and keep the layers nice and neat. All right, now we're ready to add the last layer, the strawberry smoothie. It's just a little bit of work to get it assembled, but it will be worth it. And that is Diana Yen's Strawberry Rose Layered Smoothie. Look how beautiful this is. And I guarantee you it is just as delicious as it is breathtaking. I love these little hearts. Now our smoothies are assembled. They're looking beautiful. And we're gonna add one last Flourish, some beautiful coconut flakes sprinkled right on top. It's gonna give us a nice little texture, a little crunch. Last night, I made these smoothies for myself and my daughter Ramona, and she actually went to the fridge and grabbed some cantaloupe that she diced up and sprinkled on top. So feel free to riff on this recipe in any way that works for you. Now it's time to taste our beautiful smoothie. And for me, the only way to do this is with a straw because then you get to kind of control which layer you're tasting. I just love it because it's so light and so fresh tasting. You've got the yogurt and the strawberries together. They go together so well and it's not too sweet. It's probably the best smoothie you're ever gonna have because you're getting a little bit of each layer. Thank you for watching. Even though Kristen's on sabbatical, you can get the Genius Recipe Tapes wherever you get your podcasts. And Genius will be back in two weeks. Cheers. <laughs>